And this one they are really looking for international students very well this particular school is really looking for international students very well and their semester fee was kind of high but then they had to reduce it because they're really looking for international students like they are hungry for it so you should even try and apply to this particular school um welcome back again to another video so today i'm talking about tuition free proof of fund slash tuition free universities in norway so as most of you know or if you don't know there are so many tuition free universities in norway that will give you 100 percent tuition and there are some that will make you pay semester fee and another thing is most of that you know that you can't just study in norway for free but the thing is the cost of living is kind of high but it's not so high as people actually think because i used to ask people uh, if you can't go through all these european countries that allow you to study for free and then you are moving to uk what's the difference because uk they'll take um in for uk you pay for tuition and you pay for your what cost of living but then in these countries these european countries that does tuition fee all you do is you don't pay for tuition fee all you do is cost of accommodation so cost of accommodation if you wait is it not more same it's not same so you're saving tuition and then you're paying cost of living but then and you are moving to uk do you understand the difference i'm actually trying to make but then under limitation people might actually feel is language barrier that they don't want to move to european countries because of language and the question i ask people that the english that you know what has it done to you what benefit have you seen most of you move to uk and be any minimum wage and i made a video previously about um, how these language countries they actually have more benefits than these english speaking countries these english speaking countries they are just taking us as immigrants just because they can speak english so why would you stay you're speaking english you don't have any benefits you don't have anything that is given to you and you say no you are moving there because of english speaking country so if it is you learning a new language that will make your life better that will make you have a better life in your life why not try and then another good thing about um moving to australia is that they are postgraduate um their postgraduate is actually taught in english 100 percent english but for their undergraduate it has to be in norwegian but i've not seen anyone and then and that thing is as at night the udi which is in charge of issuing norway visa rights um there's actually difficulty in getting um bsc if i just applying for bsc they'll not even give you a talk unless you have um norwegian um what is it called you've learned norwegian to an extent but if you're actually going for bachelor's right so for postgraduate you get for 100 percent english but even at that you still have to learn the language and blend to it and the other thing is norwegian is one of the easiest languages for you to learn it's not difficult very very easy for you to learn so excuse me and the other thing is you can actually study and work you know norway it's the normal 20 hours per week work you can actually study and work and yeah but then you can get so many jobs but then the jobs you get the higher your pay is the higher you can actually speak their language but then they are still english speaking job but if you know you kind of have difficulty with learning language you might try to target their um state capital which is oslo because they will have a lot of english speaking speakers there but regardless learning new language is one of the things you can actually do for yourself and your family if you know say the english way they speak you know pay you you know they put money for your pocket learn language so i'm talking about tuition free universities in us um, in norway and proof of fund right so the first one on my list is not according to any list it's just generic the first one on my list is norwegian university of science and tech so this one does not require any money aside your living expenses i will explain some things next one on my list is oslo and akahos Akaus University College of Applied Science. So this one, their semester fee is sixty six NOC, N O K sixty six NOC, and that's equivalent to sixty seven U S dollars. When I was making conversion of these dollars, I made use of X E converter. So they might be increased, they might be decreased. So the next on my list is for but for this oslo and akas university you are exempted from paying a semester fee if you're actually an exchange student right so the next on my list is the third one is university of nordland university of nordland is actually called is formerly known as the bordeaux university so this one 
The actual required is to have a proof of fund of 92,500 NOC. And if you convert it to dollar, that's like $9,355. It's not up to $10,000. Like I said, I use this converter with XE rate. So regardless of the country you're watching me from, you actually multiply 9,335, multiply it to your local currency, right? In dollars, just convert it to local currency. And the thing is, if you are sister because the the value of this proof of fund is is in knock if you're converting knock to your to your local currency it will be cheaper than converting knock to dollars then to your currency i hope you understand that so like i said i will explain something before the end of this video the next one is, is university of bergen the semester fee is knock 48 and that's like forty-eight dollars. The next on my list is Bergen University College. So this one, they actually even have guarantee admission. So guarantee accommodation. Like if you're looking for how to get um, what's it called accommodation, this school can actually be provided that you actually apply within May or November. If your admission, if your semester is to start between August and this, so you have to apply between May and November. They have guaranteed SIB um, accommodation. Next one on my list is BI, Norwegian Business School. This one, they have two types of tuition fee waiver. It's not so free. One is full, one is partial. The full one, the full tuition fee waiver is for BI partner universities that are nominated why the waiver tuition free is bi partner university but are not nominated so if you want to know if your university is part of the bi partner and your country is part of the bi partner just go to the school website and see their partnership list there so the seventh one on my list is the attic university of norway their semester fee is 50 knock and that's like 50 dollars 50 point something the next on my list is edmark university of applied science the ninth one on my list is lil he hammer lil hammer university college the next one on my list is mf norwegian school of theology This one, they actually charge registration fee. The next one on my list is Molde University College. This one's the under name they call it is Specialized University in Logistics. Then the approval fund is 90800 and that's like $9,000, $9 point something thousand dollars, sure. Yeah. yeah. Then the next one on my list is Bergen, Bergen, the twelfth one is Bergen Academy of Art and Design. The next one, the third one on my list is Nisa University College. Then the next one on my list is NLA University College. The pay or a registration. This one they are really looking for international students very well. This particular school is really looking for international students very well. And their semester fee was kind of high, but then they had to reduce it because they're really looking for international students that like they are hungry for it. So you should even try and apply to this particular school. But then out of all the schools I've mentioned, they are the highest of semester fee, and their semester fee actually costs no. 1475 and that's like 1048.51 yeah so if you notice the ones that have proof of fund so that means proof of fund of norwegian bank statement is like 90,000 and above depending on the school depending on this thing so this proof of fund is for your cost of living for your accommodation for your feeding for your this thing for one year for one year thousand so i've made a video earlier about how to study in norway admission process application process i'll put in the link in my description box i titled it norway 
So just click Norway. You see all the videos that you want to see how to study in Norway, how to do this in Norway, how to do that in Norway, 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 Norway. This. So how you do, and I've explained about this proof of fund, right? You have to send it to the school's account. They will put a Norwegian account for you, and the money will be there. So that is when you now migrate, they'll not be giving you the money one after the other per month, right? So if you're thinking of moving to UK, you can actually consider um, moving to a country like Norway because the decent is free. And then another thing about Norway is their citizenship is very easy. Their PL is easy. Their citizenship is easy as long as you're actually open to learning languages. So I've started a, 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 a series about um, Sengen countries. The ones, so many decent ones in Don't worry, stay subscribed. You see it. So guys, um... Let me know any other video you want to see about Norway. Leave it in the comment section below. Right. Um, I wanted to shoot a video about cost of living in, in Norway, but I was like, what's the point? Where any your money will be with this school? So so some of you that might ask, can you collect withdraw your money back from the school? Most schools will not give you back the money, they will give you per year because it's according to the visa rule, right? Right. So there's no need. so some of you that might think maybe you might loan the money and then refund you back. The school will actually be giving you monthly, but then depending on the school, most times they give you the money monthly, right? And that's it. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.